Hello all. First, warm welcome to everybody and thank you for joining our IBM Automation Recipes. My name is Jukka Juselius and I'm from our technical team for business automation. And today I will be uh, talking about concurrent bot execution with IBM RPA, um, introducing you to the concept itself and then also running a short demonstration. So if we start um, by reminding ourselves uh, with the uh, base capabilities that we offer here uh, in IBM RPA, uh, I think one of the most uh, exciting and interesting capabilities uh, really is the concurrent execution model that we support. So uh, with that, you can definitely have significant savings uh, on the total cost of ownership of your RPA environment. And then when we are talking about the, the bot execution altogether, we also need to uh, acknowledge the, the underlying logical architecture here. So um, the runtime environment that we need to install to every computer, to every virtual machine, that we want to use to run our developed automations bots is really the agent uh, service which acts as a bot runtime environment here in our solution. Then I think it's also good to start thinking about the different ways that we can actually use to trigger and run our bots, uh, our developed automations here. So scheduling being the most obvious one, so you can define schedules that will then trigger different bots during the day. Um, then we also support what we are calling uh, as orchestrations. So those are uh, definitions uh, that will then also make use of message queues uh, to trigger and to intelligently also distribute the load between the different runtimes environments that you can use for bot execution. Um, then we have web API. So um, whenever you need to run a bot uh, on demand, you can just call the web API uh, to trigger a specific bot that you need to. And then uh, as you might know, we also have included chatbot capabilities to our RPA platform. So you could be directly exposing your uh, RPA automations as chatbots that you can then integrate your, to your different channel applications. And whenever um, customer or internal user is, is using that channel application, then that will also trigger a bot execution within a, a specific runtime environment. I think it's also quite understandable that at least at some phase uh, you need to start uh, thinking uh, the situations where you need to run your bots uh, simultaneously. So you need to start thinking how you want to scale up your bot runtime environments. So the normal methods or the normal kind of uh, ways how we normally scale up things in, in IT industry uh, we are talking about horizontal and vertical scaling. Uh, in general, horizontal scaling means that we are adding new runtime environments, new computers, new servers, in order to facilitate uh, more runtime executions. And then yet again, in vertical scaling, we are trying to uh, kind of run more execution instances within uh, one runtime environment. So um, as I have been trying to, to uh, demonstrate here within the graphics that I've included to the slide, um, if we need to run three simultaneously running bots with horizontal scaling, that would mean to, to provision three different runtime environments and, and then each uh, running them one bot uh, uh, simultaneously. And then with vertical scaling, we could be using just one runtime environment and then increasing the number of, of kind of execution threads, if you will, 
within that runtime environment. And for RPA, uh, I think it's also good to uh, mention here that the normal way currently is really to, to use horizontal scaling. So when you need to scale up, then you need to uh, provision new runtime environments. So that, that has been the normal way. But obviously, the reason why we are talking about this is that IPM RPA supports concurrent execution using the vertical scaling. So you do not need to start provisioning new runtime environments in order to run your bots uh, in parallel uh, simultaneously. Uh, we also support both Windows workstations and, and servers, so we don't limit uh, the, the, the uh, Windows operating system anyhow. Um, and then um, we kind of have a rule of thumb here, so we are kind of always mentioning that, that up to 15 simultaneously executions uh, you could be using your runtime uh, for. So it, it's not a hard limit at uh, the exact number of, of bots that you can run within one runtime environment. It really depends on the resources of your runtime environment to start with, and then how complex are the automations, the bots that you are running, how many applications they are opening when they are executing, and, and so on, how much memory they will uh, reserve, and, and, and so on. So there isn't any specific number that we could be saying, but about 15 is, is kind of a rule of thumb that, that if you go over that, you definitely need to start checking uh, the, the, that you have enough resources in your runtime environment. Good, then I think it, it really comes down to the benefits, um, why you would kind of uh, want to utilize vertical scaling, uh, concurrent bot execution altogether. Uh, I think it kind of makes sense uh, if you look at the, the infrastructure to start with. So uh, with this approach, you need less infrastructure to run your, your bots. Um, that then means less environment management and less IT operations costs altogether. And then you can definitely have significant savings um, on your total cost of ownership uh, of your RPA environments. And then the other benefit, uh, which is quite obvious also, is that scaling up uh, altogether is, is really easy. You just need to add concurrent execution licenses to your existing environments. It's also good to um, mention here uh, that, that obviously for production, uh, normally you would have more than just one runtime environment in place. So even though you can use the concurrent execution model, vertical scaling uh, for your environments, then uh, just to have some high availability failover, uh, you would normally run at least two runtime environments for your production. So then um, I guess that ends the presentation part and next I will be running a short demonstration to show how this concurrent execution actually works. Let's switch to my demo environment here. So I have a virtual machine running where I have my um, client package install so studio for development and then the runtime agent also um, so what i have here is is a kind of a simple script that uh, writes um, 12 sales leads um, to a queue that we have been defining to our tenant so let's do that first so let me run the script and it will be writing sales uh, leads 12 of them to a queue Good, that's done. Then um, what I've been kind of building here is, is another script that I've already published to my tenant so that I can uh, invoke and trigger it via the web API. Um, so it, it is just simple script then to read those sales leads uh, from the queue one by one and then 
um, use a web uh, application to insert the, the, the sales lead to our backend system. So that I'm already published to my tenant that I'm using here. So um, I'm using a, a Postman tool here uh, just to make three consecutive uh, calls um, to, to trigger my bots. So I have bot name here also as an input parameter. So the actual sales lead, then the, the, the automation will read from the queue uh, uh, to which I just pushed uh, the 12 sales leads to. But then um, as an input parameter, I just also giving the bot name and the queue name that the bot needs to kind of find the sales leads from. Uh, but with bot name, we can also then see uh, the different bots executing here. And, and well, when they are finished, they will then display a message box saying how many sales leads the, the individual uh, bot executions were able to handle. So now I can trigger the bots making these uh, REST calls uh, to, to, to the web API. So I'll be just making them in, in, in sequence here. So first one, the second one, and then the third one. And soon we would be seeing the bots starting here. So as we can see, so they start the web browsers um, and they all log in to this JK automation uh, site. And then they start typing in the, the sales lead that they, they are able to, to read from the queue. And as we can see, all of them are, are doing their work here uh, in parallel. So the first bot is also processing, already processing the, the third one. And, and the second one is, is already starting also the fourth one and, and so on. So we can see them executing simultaneously here within just my one runtime environment. And now as, as we can see, bot number one already finished. Uh, we're able to process four sales leads. Bot number two is also done uh, for sales lead. And bot number three should be also now done for sales lead. So they distributed evenly here. So because I, I triggered them almost simultaneously also. Good. And if, if we look at the, the outputs here, so, so um, I, I didn't close the browsers here within the script so that we can see the results. So the, the third bot here, has been processing Otto, Monica, Thiemann to Richard. Uh, the bot number two has been processing Pramon, Seri, Satoshi, Joss. And then the first bot that we launched, Dave, Stu, Jeff and Stuart. So, so it was really working nicely as designed. So they were executing uh, simultaneously here within just my one runtime environment. And then they were uh, able to process uh, the different messages from a, a queue that they were kind of all connected to. Good. Um, so I guess that, that kind of shows the, the concurrent execution here. So as you can see, uh, bots can access um, UIs. Um, they can do something in the background, but definitely they can do something with the UIs, even with the, the similar addresses here within the web browser. So everything that is also supported. And I think the the concept altogether is 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 working really nicely. So you can definitely run uh, bots doing um, different things, doing even the same things here within your one execution environment. Good. Um, then I just wanna end by um, saying thank you guys again for participating to our today's session. Uh, we will be running a new uh, automation recipes presentations in the near future so please pay attention to our event site and then i just want to share you uh, with our link to our rpa community so if you have any questions you want to ask if you want to just browse uh, our material there within the community you are more than welcome to join the community and, and use it as you will so um, thank you, take care and talk to you later guys.